What's good, people? It's your boy, Icarus Gray. <laughs> and this is Gray Area Anime. Your favorite podcast because anime is for everybody. Just like these O's. Oh, come on. And uh, in the building, as always, is the executive producer of the Gray Area Anime Podcast, Prima Diva. Hello, everyone. Today, today, we got a special, special episode for you guys. Something pretty fun, um, given those of you that are still um, quarantined. Oh yeah, stuck at home. Stuck at home. Need some to do. Um, and it's the summer, no matter what. So even if you know we weren't quarantined, this would be summertime. Maybe somebody would take, uh, be taking a vacation or, um, honeymoon or just a mental relaxation. Um, especially given the current times, any kind of uh, mental peace you can get, this is for that. Um, so what we're doing today. Is we're going to give you guys some bingeable animes. Um, and we have some specific criteria for these bingeable animes. The dry spots have to be far and few between or not exist at all. Uh, because what we want is for you to be engaged in these um, things that we're in, in these animes that we're suggesting. Um, it has to be dynamic um, because a lot of animes can have a. Uh, a formula that they run by. And if that formula is too predictable, you'll lose enjoyment. And so we're trying to um, give you a lot of different options, uh, varying types of anime um, and give you all the options that we can. So that way you'll be able to, you know, get through your quarantine uh, and come out on top. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to go back and forth. I'm going to suggest something. Then I'll let Bree Mediva suggest something. And uh, if she does one of mine, then I won't like re-suggest it. I'm just going to suggest another one on my list. Um, and first, because it's kind of what I'm doing now or current. Well, I say I um, it technically is me because she just kind of is always like on her switch playing Animal Crossing or something during these times. But. Okay. There's no need to put my business out there like that. That was just unnecessary. Unnecessary. Wow. Especially since you're not even telling the whole story. Anyway. So my first vengeful suggestion um, is the Naruto series. Um, and that is Naruto all the way through Naruto Shippuden, uh, which technically will give you over like it's about thousand episodes. Shippuden is 500 um naruto i think is somewhere in the same range if not more mm-hmm. I, I, yeah. um <laughs> i mean it's like a 15 almost 20 year running series or was i should say um so not only will you be able to watch it through you'll be able to get to a um conclusion um and i know that there's an anime called boruto um don't watch that i'm just not gonna yeah just, Shippuden just was stop. Exactly 500 episodes. No, no, I knew that much. I didn't know the Naruto one. I don't oh. know how many Naruto are, but. There's a lot. So, okay. 453 plus, something like that. Oh, so nine. No, 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 no. no, no. Maybe it was I 220. I don't, I'm not sure. There are a lot of numbers here. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to look a little <laughs> bit deeper as okay. you continue. Um, <laughs> but the reason I suggested it is because not only is it one of the. Um, the big three of the late nineties, early two thousands. Go ahead. 220. Oh, okay. So it's less than what I thought. Yeah. Um, huh. So there was more Shibu. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, I had a lot further to go. True. But, uh, yeah. So not only is this one of the big three, uh, of the early or late nineties, uh, early to mid two thousands. Um, well, I say mid, mid, yeah, you know what I'm saying, people. Early 2000s. 
2000. Um, and the big trio was One Piece, Bleach, and Naruto. Um, Naruto is, I want to say, um, the most dynamic out of the three. Um, I think One Piece is the best story, um, but Naruto is the most dynamic, which is why I think it's very, very bingeable. Um, they, in rewatching, I realized they hold no punches in setting you in this world. Mm -mm. Um, they set the premise up real nice. You get your main character. You get the fact that this is technically post-war time. Um, and while there are a lot of fun parts to it, uh, you kind of get what what this series is going to be in the first, what, 12 episodes? Yeah, in the first yeah, 12 I, I episodes. I feel like, yeah. I mean, by the time they go on their first mission, they're like, um, no, this is real. We're not, we're not here just... Yeah. You know, we save cats when we're in the village. When we leave the village, we're yeah. not saving cats. <laughs> it, it's kind of like, um, you know, soldiers during pe during peacetime, but also still having um, remnants of, of what was before. And that's why I think it's enjoyable, because you get a lot of different things. You get um, relationship growth. You get dynamic characters that you get to grow with, uh, which is also something time actually passes so it's not just typically like uh your pokemon where ash has been 10 since the 90s he has not grown up it's i mean i understand your marketing more towards kids but we grew up and we like a lot of the times to grow up with our series and mm -hmm. this is what this allows you to do you grow up with the series you grow up with the characters you see that their ambitions um come to fruition in a different way and it allows the plot and different um the formula as i was talking about earlier to be effective um because you're not just staying in a constant continual loop of uh you know fight 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 and there's no depth to it um there's an end game and it, and it's really 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 enjoyable um, another thing is we're not going to do too much like on story breakdowns because I want to get you as many or as many as we can in. Um, but just know it's bingeable. This is more for your. If you like fighting, if you like um, long stories, there is filler. There are filler arcs. Yeah. And you've got to kind of weed those out. I mean, I think they're um, pretty easy to spot, but. Um, sometimes some are, it takes you some, a minute to realize some it. are enjoyable i challenge you to just watch through um because it can still be enjoyable it can still be something that i think is not as terrible as some filler arcs like i hate all the bleaches filler arcs and i hate all some of, of them, bleaches I like, arcs i like some i mean the i know people hated the um what is going on with you and your mic right now well i'm having trouble figuring out which side is it's the right not one. that side well, I was on this side, but it didn't sound right. Okay. Like what? <laughs> anyway, so back to the bleach filler. I know a lot of people hated the one with the uh <laughs> don't make fun of me. With their <laughs> when their Zampact hoes became like people. And I totally get why they hate it, but I loved it. I don't care. I don't care. I liked it. But bleach yeah. is a is a famed yeah. example of like poor filler poor filler yeah lots of but, it but <laughs> this one is not and i do think it'll be enjoyable enjoyable you have two um tie series and then you got a host of movies and things alongside it that you could watch which are good um that aren't connected in any way shape form or fashion most uh big shonen anime movies are just standalone and have nothing zero zilch to do with the series um but they're enjoyable nonetheless anyway your pick would be um so as much as i despise um really i despise the feels that i experienced in this anime i should probably start with something i liked a little bit more um and i, I will say i liked it but i hated it okay and um it was <laughs> madoka magica i've expressed why i dislike this anime before because they take what I love about magical girls and turn it on its head as a writer. 
I adore everything about it. It's like a beautiful story. And as an audience member, I feel exactly how I, as a writer, would want me to feel angry and dissatisfied, but, <laughs> but still enjoyed in a sense that the story is still very compelling. You want to know what is happening next. If you have any interest in magic, uh, like magical girls or the magical girl uh, concept, if you liked Power Rangers, if you like like growing up, if you were a girl who liked Power Rangers or even a guy, like if you liked um, any of those types of shows, if you like Xenon Warrior Princess, I don't mean to age myself, but you know, if you like Xena, Xena, yeah, I'm thinking Xenon Girl of the 21st Century. But yes, like if you liked any of those kinds of adventure, <laughs> shut up, adventure <laughs> fantasy types of spaces, um, and you don't mind a bit of darkness, this is, if you like Into the Badlands, you might like this, honestly. Like it's not as gritty. Um, I can think of one right now uh, that's a little bit grittier, the one with the, the, the one we were watching recently with the video game. That one is, that should probably be on there. Are you talking about Darwin's game? Yes, that one. Mm. Having a brain fart, but it's if you if you like um, that kind of, I mean, it's it's you know, it's just really fun um, initially, <laughs> but when it turns, it grips you in, and you, I mean, it makes you care about what these girls are doing very early and very easily because the show itself, I, I don't, I don't think it was more than maybe somewhere between 13 and 20 episodes. Like it's a very short season. You will finish it quickly. And then if you're like me, you will look for the movies to see if anything different happens. It doesn't. Don't get your hopes up. But the movies are still good. Like it's so compelling and it really makes you feel. Wow. What? <laughs> just saying, don't. I don't want to. Look, I don't want you to feel the heartache I felt. I just want you to experience it. Wow. <laughs> experience it. Because it's still a good, it's really good show. I know I'm like, I, I have feels, but really. Highly recommend it. Okay. Forget you, man. <laughs> Sorry, man. Whenever you get on your, it was, I'm so mad and it I'm was I'm conflicted like, about it because oh, it's no, I so, understand. like, I liked I it understand. so much, but I hated everything so much, too. It just, it broke my heart. It really broke my heart. That's exactly what we need about bingeable things. Things it's that good. make you feel conflicted. It does. If you don't mind right. that, then give it a try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're a special kind. I'm aware. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> so we'll go with my next one. Um, but yeah, this, it's one I haven't watched because it's just like, eh. but I'm not, I'm not really big on the magical girl genre outside of Sailor Moon just because. Yeah, it was just. I mean, Sailor Moon is bingeable. It's, it's the, awesome. It's, it's the, not on my list. It's but the it's literal awesome. queen king of. Yeah, them like to the me. Earth and the Moon. It's amazing. <laughs> like it's. I don't know. I can't even explain. It's just it's good. It's super cute. <laughs> like, it's and just amazing. Good. Um, and, and it's so 90s. But anyway. Indeed. Um, My next one is one that I uh, that is my spirit animal. Um, oh. Which will be Mob Psycho 1 or Mob Psycho and Mob Psycho 2, which is first season, second season. But if you're looking for them, it'll be Mob Psycho 2, which is a continuation yeah. of the first. Um, This is... It, and I've talked about this before because I, I know I did this on our beautiful anime episode, which you can go and check out in the catalogs. Um, we're also a bingeable series. You can just listen to us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, All 30 plus episodes. Um, But this was just beautiful. Um, This was like an explanation of inner emotions. How emotions can run over, how emotions can run dry, um, how numbing your emotions can cause you pain um, and can cause you to not see the world the way you need to. But at the same time, have more hope than what most people may have because you have uh, cut off the valves of uh, over overwhelming sadness and you give people more of an opportunity. This is why I love this series. Um, I think they excellently um, show what it is to feel. And it looks how you feel. Um, and it just watches well in the first season and the character growth, which is something you're going to um, see a theme in. And in all of our uh, picks is we love character growth. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah good character growth at that. Like it has to be something that 
you can relate to. And I think a lot of people can kind of relate to this, especially um, as I mentioned, current events and everything else. um, You can relate. You can relate to holding your emotions in, holding your emotions in, holding your emotions in and then exploding. And that's what mob psycho is. And it's something that I enjoy thoroughly. And I think you will, too. Um, So check it out. Mob Psycho and Mob Psycho 2 is really, really good. What's your next one? My next one is going to be hmm, probably (laughs) Kill a Kill because I love it. It's just good. I'm going to mix that in with Gurnlog and they will always be at the top for me. But um, wait, they're the same. It's fine. Um, (laughs) I know. (laughs) I have a mute button and I don't want to mute you. (laughs) So just it's, stick look, it's to my the one. Pick. All right. So <laughs> what she picked was Kill a Kill, which is an amazing, these. which is an amazing oh company God. who also did Gurren Logan. This is true. The point that I was making about Kill a Kill, and I know I've spoken about it before. I, and in terms of beautiful anime, um, it is, I love the way that it's animated. It's so, um, fun to like it's just enjoyable to look at it's not it's not Mm -hmm. it's not pretty in a in your face way the way that mob psycho is in a sense i think think so Um, i mean but the girl login style is is very eye-catching it's very very eye-catching dynamic and it's uh uh, it's an action i mean like it's it's and everything about it 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 just has that kind of pop that's exactly what i mean yes like so that's what makes it fun to look at but the story is actually really interesting too like um i i my entry into anime, of course, came through um, Bleach and other beat em up kind of anime, like where, you know, you see this person who's struggling to get to the, the big boss, essentially, and win the fight. But they do such a wonderful job of creating this story that is compelling, that makes you want to find out what's going on. It's formulaic because, you know, in this like in every episode, somebody finna fight like you do know that. And I know, but it's, it's some, short enough for it not to get boring. Yes, See, that's the thing. It's not a it, that can be boring, but not it's, in this. It's not, not a extended series that has like five hundred episodes. I think it's somewhere within the thirteen to twenty yeah, range. Again, these are the that, most of the ones that I'm suggesting are. You can finish them in like a day or two because they're they're uh, they're twenty minutes. I guess we should have said twenty to twenty five minutes. So we'll do that real quick. So Naruto is a long standing. You binge this like you binge The Office. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gonna take you a week or two. Uh, mob, you can probably get through in about three or four days, depending upon how you watch. Um, uh, Magic Madoka, you can get through about the same as Mob and the same thing with Kill a Kill. Okay. So yeah, I mean, like it's just it's fast paced. When again, it's it's kind of like um, uh, Madoka because when you think you know what's going on in the story, some things switch around and you learn more and there's always more to discover. And I think that's really what makes a bingeable um, series bingeable is that there's always more to discover. Even if you're used to, Oh, we're going to fight. There's always more information about the world around you. There's always more information about the people that you're, that you're connecting to and kill a kill is just great in that. And plus, you know, if you're interested in any kind of female um, protagonists, which that are strong, (laughs) That are actually really great and actually kick a lot of butt. I'm just saying, no, no, no. I have some, I have some male protagonists too, but um, this this one is great. This one will make you feel great, period. And I mean, you know, for the guys that like a little fan servicing, you get that too. The girls do too, which is great. There's a lot of fan servicing in this. I will admit that. I mean, there's a lot of fan servicing. Just just not in an appropriately disgusting way. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, it's it, they're more aware of it, so they make more fun of it just because it's about clothes. Exactly. That's all I got for you. Yeah. I'm not even going to give you more. Yeah, I won't give you clothes. any more than that. Just go look at it. Go watch the um, first episode. Come back and tell me what you think. <laughs> next is going to be, for me, um, the world only God knows. Mm-hmm. Bingeable AF. Because for a nerd who may have difficulty speaking to the women. Trying to get your... For yourself. uh, (laughs) Trying to get... Sorry. (laughs) 
Like, I don't understand. I just thought it was well timed. You just like I was to kill a kill all of my jokes. Because oh they, wait, what? Why would that be a thing? I thought it was great. But you didn't have to I was, mention I was that I did it. I was clapping my hands for you. Oh. It could have been that you did. Oh, it was the, it was because another. in your head it would have been something that maybe you were thinking. Actually, it was, and I think that that's so just a testimony that to how in that. sync we are. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> anyway, but the world only God knows is for basically the nerd who doesn't know quite how to interact with women, and this is. I mean, technically, I guess it is a harem anime um, mixed in with kind of isekai themes, maybe. Um, But the thing that I enjoy most about it is that in each of these relationship situations, because the basic premise is he's a guy who plays a lot of dating sim games and knows the different archetypes of the women in the games and has to now use that to actually interact with people. That he doesn't want to interact with in the first place. Yes, it's super cute. (laughs) And so what you get is these very dynamic women who all have different um, likes, dislikes, who have different woes, who have different um, things that they feel. And you're able to see these different emotions. It's not the same cookie cutter type, you know, lowlies and, and strong women. It's women with depth and it grows because you get to a point to where in most harems it's like he fought somebody and now you're like okay I get why she loves him I guess but in this there's a building of the house so to speak yeah he has like you you build these emotions and they build actual connections that pay off Mm -hmm. um all the while you will be left guessing as to who's like who he, he picks somebody that he wants to date at the end of this. Oh, he does. Yes. I haven't gotten to the end yet, guys. And it's hugely satisfying because you can't guess it until the end. That's interesting because it literally just kind of uh, happens. It just ends up happening or happens. And everyone kind of knew. Um, but it's like I said, it's rewarding. It's rewarding in a lot of ways because you just get all of these dynamic characters, which again, I told you guys before is the best thing about bingeable animes is the depth of character. Oh, if yeah. you can get it. So that's my whatever pick. I think it's like third or something. Anyway. And I'll say that uh, to that point though, um, I've just started that series. And one thing that I like about it that makes it different from other harems is that generally in a harem there, they are actually collecting women on their side like that's literally they're, they're mm-hmm. building an actual harem they play with that and kind of turn that on the its head in this anime because of uh i don't want to give away too much oh but like he ends up not necessarily collecting them like it, he he goes well, through these conquests currently but he has to, i like, forgot the big thing about this is that he does end up making he makes them fall in love with him and then as soon as they fall See, in I love with him say it. <laughs> well this is a big thing because it's funny they forget he do, he conquers them. He gets initially what's at what's in them out of them. They and forget. They forget. Okay, and I, initially, and I like you say initially, but where I am in the series, they forget, and I like that only because in this, you in other harems, I oh. keep thinking about Strike the Blood. You don't see what the like. You don't really see the effect. I think I'm gonna have a Strike the Blood counter for how many times <laughs> you're gonna mention <laughs> this. That's fine. Like, and this happened off air. We didn't mention it on air. No, I'm gonna. Blood, I'm gonna, gonna say, just, but I'm gonna finish it. I'm it's just, such you know, a whatever. like. What is it like? It's like a. I think Strike the Blood for you is like a guilty. Uh, no, it's not guilty. I, I don't. Oh, it is such a guilty junk nah, food hate. I guess. Um, no, I mean I I like it. I just have to like pace myself on it, but. What I mean yeah. to say in the difference is that you you don't really get to see the effect that uh, adding these or dealing with these women has directly on the main character, which in this case, which in most cases Ooh. is the guy. <laughs> I can't wait you to don't finish. see it as much in other harems like you do in this. Like I'm only two sep- two episodes oh, in, and I you can tell how it's saying. affecting him to have to deal with these real world women and how it's changing the way he feels internally. So that again, character very good. I'm Love you, it. It's really good. You'll, you'll, by the time you get to the end, it'll be really. Um, it's gonna be the most one of the most rewarding things you've ever watched. I believe it. 
I will say I that. that. It's it's been pretty great so far. But I like a lot of your picks thus far. Yours too. Um because I think that you're giving them depth of just like it's pop. It, it it's yeah. a pop. There's a there's a strong emotion. I give them a bit of the long haul like you're going mm. on a ride. See, I've got, and I've got, and yeah, most of mine are very, like, they're going to be short. Most of mine are, are pretty much, you you get in, you get out, you had a good time. Well, yeah, because, I mean, or you had a the, the longer time. ones you have, a, <laughs> you know, trouble sticking with. But anyway, No, 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 I, I finished my long ones. Mm-hmm. I do. Hey, listen. That's all I'm saying. Anyways. <laughs> but so, okay, moving into my next pick. Um, so I have two more. Uh, I guess I'll go with Future Diaries next. You got um, one more. No, I have one more after that. No, you got one more. I have one more after that. You have one more. Should I say them both? <sighs> okay, future diaries then. Um, oh, well, ah. So again, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had two more, but whatever. Future uh, diaries. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, go future ahead, diaries and Beelzebub. above. Those are my last. Two. Because what are we going to do? Okay. No, no, no. I'm going to finish. I'm, uh, I'm going to tell you why in Just two seconds. Hold on. Okay. What we're going to do for you guys. <laughs> As I get her to hold her horses. It's very hard, guys. I'm sorry. I married a strong black woman who uh, oh. just is very strong. Oh. And you don't want to, you know, Do you don't, you cannot, you don't want to, you know, you got to let them be strong. You just got to get what? out the way sometimes. I'm you got to get five. beat up and knocked out. Oh, no, you're not gosh. five. It's, it doesn't make you five to be a strong black no, woman. It just, it just sounds makes like you're you strong. saying you got to get out the way sometimes. Like you're trying to let the baby learn how to walk. Like that's why I said I'm not five. No, nope. this is literally all your own creating. I'm just saying you got to get out the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, I don't know what <laughs> what you doing over there. Five. I don't know. Anyways. Some, you got some strange thoughts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but right. what we're going right. to do, we are going to have more of these bingeable series just because we have a lot of them. Yeah. So we're not going to give you all of them because we got a lot of them. So pick one and save the other. Well, I was... You mentioned one, but both. pick one. I, I said save the other. the other one. Um, but well, I, I know you I'll said it, Beelzebub, just don't Beelzebub explain it. Because yeah. um, it's completely counter to everything else that we've said. Beelzebub is kind of like, uh, it is kind of about character, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> um, <laughs> Let me, okay, so the basic premise of the story is whew. this demon baby that has no clothes. I don't know why they don't put this this baby boy in clothes. Okay. He he just What's ain't funny is he, this No one like, puts a diaper on this baby. Like, I'm going to let you explain what you have, but it's so funny because only one of us has watched it all the way through. I mean, yeah, but I'm still going through and it. And I'm excited about it. Okay. Senpai. Okay. Like, geez. <laughs> Rub it in my face. Why don't you? Anyways. So, the reason I chose this is because, again, it's for me, it's <laughs> something that I literally can press play on and just let play because every episode is fun. Every oh episode is exciting to see. And it does, again, it. like reveal new stuff about the world and about the characters. But I, it's like it's like a sitcom. Like, literally, you have these tropes. Oh, really? You have well, I was just about to say that it's like. <laughs> it's like what? It's like if you took the office. Yeah. No, no, I keep mentioning the office. But no, it's not really. as it's not as it's not. Well, is it? It's kind of fourth wall break, or it can be fourth wall break. It can be, but you but have these care, these archetypes it's, it's so in this funny. environment. Uh, like I said, okay, so it's about <laughs> this demon baby that comes back, that is brought back to the earth, and is looking for the baddest guy around, or brought to the earth. Excuse me, looking for the baddest guy around to make his daddy, so that they can raise him. The ultimate thing being, however, this um, this bad dude, you know, this amazingly powerful guy raises him, is going to determine whether or not he floods the earth. Or uh, doesn't kill the earth. I don't, I, you know. <laughs> that's the well, end. to simplify <laughs> that in terms, like this shows how new, basically <laughs> it's about the baby. He's brought over. The only thing I'm going to clarify is they're looking for the biggest baddies guy so he will destroy the world. He does, yeah, that's so it. that is, there they, is they, they no, want it's do not that. like the, the, the caveat that you're offering them is the fact that the main character is a, is a person who can have different feelings. He's a person yeah, who like does not expect like he him, is the, Actual strongest person in the town, Oga. Um, and he actually starts raising this kid like a, like a dad. Like in the first few episodes, he's like, a man doesn't do this. Like he's a man doesn't cry or, uh, you know, a man saves yeah. his friends. Like he's really instilling and it's, and these it's things in this really baby. Funny. <laughs> it's and it, it's so a really fun, funny. like it's a light 
Like it's pretty much like a parody while still being serious enough of shonen uh styled animes slash yeah. mangas. And it really is fun. Like yeah. I said, they do get semi serious in certain parts because yeah, they at go some the point day. they do they basically ask you the question, are you serious about raising this child? Yeah, I already got there. You know, and no, I'm saying it gets even more like it it, it just it, it doesn't push an envelope, but it just addresses no, that it a little does. bit more. Yeah. I mean their connection um, and everything comes into question. So there's still a little bit of character um development and stuff in it. But it's just it's so it's so good. It's really <laughs> it's good. So good. That was a good pick. And uh, you can save the other one definitely because that'll I yeah. think we can because at this point it'll just increase the fact that you have a theme about you in terms of the ones you like. I don't uh, um sheesh. But judgment. The la uh, whatever. <laughs> The last one that I have, and I'm really trying to think about this because I want something that's fun, but I also want to do one of the ones that I was just like, I couldn't put it down. Yeah. So, since you did fun with Beelzebub, I'm uh, going to do this one. And it's Rascal Does Not Dream. I knew you were going to put that sometime. on here. I knew it. Um, immediately i knew this listen <laughs> immediately this is for my emotional brothers this hey, is for mess. <laughs> all right <laughs> i'm gonna evoke the mute button as i get in touch with my emotions to explain <laughs> this anime i'm gonna allow her to laugh in the background and not the foreground have a good time over there yes um Anyway, but this one is like, it's a time capsule of emotion. And the reason I say it's a time capsule is because it kind of, it, it, it kind of, I said kind of, or whatever I said, I messed up my words. <laughs> but it takes you back to high school and the feelings of what that can do. Um, and they really explore it. They explore it in a psychological way. Um, in a way that introduces you to all these different uh, tropes and things. And by the end of it, like, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I cried. I shed a thug tear. You shed a what? Shed a thug tear. Really? It's that good. <laughs> because, like, I'm t when I tell you they pull you in with these different, like, they'll spend maybe two episodes um on solving a certain issue and man <laughs> look Whew. dog it's it's good um if i could exp like i said it's basically it takes um situations and thoughts you had in high school and kind of turns them into uh mysteries so to speak um paranormal mystery so is, is a better way to kind of do it and it makes these things kind of uh, live and exist so if um you were cyber bullied or something like that instead of it just being something that um you know is just comments it's now causing actual physical harm um in such a way that you kind of withdraw from society and in fear of all kinds of different things um, and don't really know exactly how to kind of interact with the world. Um, and that's a, a small bit of it. And it's just amazing. I re I truly do recommend it. It's going to be one of the um, animes we break down. Uh, we're not going to do it episode by episode because I realized that those can kind of uh, get not tiring for you guys, but um there's a lot that we end up wanting to say about some of these series. So a better way of doing the ones that we are, that are like our favorites, uh, we're going to like watch through them and then just give like a season breakdown or give a, a series breakdown just so we can like dive into all the things that we love about it. And in the future, we'll also be um, planning to do some virtual like watch parties. So if that's something you're interested in, I will, um, you can send that information to us, sign up on our email list. Um, on our Facebook page, or you can email us your information. We'll definitely keep you notified as we come out with more content. 
Are you ready? That's fine. Do you think? All right. If you would like to get in touch with us, you can email us at grayareaanime at gmail.com. And that is with two A's. Don't get lazy between the area and the anime. <laughs> let me also say that if you'd like to get at us on Twitter, you can let it, you can hit us up at grayareaanime1. Uh, and you can also get at us on Instagram or on Facebook at grayareaanime. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you next week. A one and a two and a peace.